In our sky is this one, Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous and very unstable, and it's about to explode. This idea was supported by the fact that there were significant changes on the star's surface. In the end, the Hubble Space Telescope, humankind's watchdog in space, helped us figure out what was going on with this strange event. Hubble's views showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was probably due to a large amount of hot matter being thrown into space. This material formed a cloud of dust that covered part of the star's surface, reducing the amount of light from Betelgeuse that reached us. It was thought that the dust cloud was made of very hot plasma that erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface and moved through its hot atmosphere to the cooler outer layers. As it cooled, it formed dust grains, creating a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, were instrumental in piecing together the events that led to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies showed signs of dense hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere. Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star's dimming in December 2019, particularly in its southern half. Initially, the material was brighter than the star itself, but as it moved outward and cooled, it turned into a dark cloud. The prevailing theory was that this outflowing matter and the resulting dark cloud were responsible for the star's sudden dimming. This explosion was truly enormous, placing Betelgeuse at the center of astronomical attention. The star ejected about 400 billion times the mass typically expelled in a normal coronal mass ejection. This material, estimated to weigh several times as much as the moon, was a significant event for both Betelgeuse and our understanding of stellar processes. But what does such a massive explosion of matter mean for our understanding of Betelgeuse and supernovas in general? It has profound implications for our theories about supernovae. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are thought to lose mass at a fairly steady rate before they explode at the end of their lives. However, the size of this ejection challenges this idea, suggesting a more turbulent and possibly unpredictable end-of-life phase for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be preparing for its final act, a supernova explosion in a few thousand years? New studies speculate on when this might happen, suggesting it could occur sooner than previously thought, possibly in just a few tens of years. Another important aspect of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the concept of bow shock. This massive star hurtles through space at about 67,000 miles per hour relative to the interstellar medium around it, creating a bow shock similar to the wave formed by a ship's bow. This effect occurs when the star's outer layers interact with the gas and dust in the space between stars. It's a beautiful demonstration of the star's activity and its interaction with its surroundings. The bow shock not only informs us about Betelgeuse's current state, but also helps us understand stellar evolution and mass loss. What about the star's past behavior? After the mass ejection, Betelgeuse's surface cooled and became less dense, indicating that the star remains unstable even years later. Hydrodynamic models show a link between the star's convective activities, the mass ejection, and subsequent changes in pulsation modes. This ongoing instability raises questions about the internal processes driving these changes and what their ultimate outcome might be. Additionally, Betelgeuse's mass loss rate is significantly higher than that of many other stars, suggesting a complex interplay of internal forces. The pulsation contributing to this mass loss is constrained by the continuous energy loss through shock heating and mass ejection. These observations indicate that Betelgeuse's life cycle is highly dynamic and not entirely predictable, prompting scientists to rethink their models of stellar evolution. With all these significant changes, one might wonder if Betelgeuse is about to go supernova. This question is of great interest to astronomers. The exact timing of such an event remains unknown, but the recent unusual mass ejection has shifted the discussion, leading some to believe the end may be nearer than previously thought. Theories are now attempting to determine what this massive loss of matter means for the star's health and future. While astronomers focus on Betelgeuse, the supernova SN 2023 EXF is also garnering attention and can be used for insightful comparisons. 
This remarkable explosion occurred in Messier 101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, which is only 21 million light years away. SN 2023EXF, discovered in May 2023, is not just another supernova. It's the closest one observed in recent years, providing scientists with an excellent opportunity to study the star's final moments. The discovery of SN 2023EXF was a cosmic coup. Kichi Itagaki, an amateur astronomer known for discovering supernovas, first spotted this rapidly brightening spot on the edge of Messier 101 with a small 0.35-meter telescope. As soon as he announced his discovery, the astronomy community sprang into action. From ground-based observatories to the Hubble Space Telescope, telescopes around the world turned their gaze toward this new supernova. The race to monitor SN 2023EXF's light curve yielded critical information about the explosion and the environment surrounding the dying star. Scientists carefully recorded SN 2023EXF's behavior during the tumultuous month following its discovery. In just five days, the supernova brightened significantly before beginning a more gradual decline, dimming by 0.03 magnitudes each day. Spectroscopic analysis revealed numerous bright emission lines, indicating intense interactions between the expanding supernova shock wave and the surrounding gas. This wasn't just the death of a star. It was a massive star collapsing under its own gravity as its nuclear fuel ran out, resulting in a spectacular core collapse supernova. What's particularly intriguing about SN 2023EXF is the dense shell of gas surrounding it which made it more difficult for the shock wave to escape from the star's core. Two possible explanations for this dense material are either a strong, steady wind blowing material off the star before the explosion or random eruptions that expelled material into space. In either case, the star is believed to have lost up to a solar mass of material in the last one to two years of its life, indicating its final moments were far from peaceful. The primary goal of research now is to identify the progenitor star of SN 2023EXF. Researchers have used a variety of methods and statistics to suggest a likely candidate, a red supergiant. By studying the specifics of SN 2023EXF's explosion, such as the characteristics of its progenitor star and the processes leading up to the final blast, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and supernova mechanics. These new insights directly inform our understanding of Betelgeuse's current state and how it might end up going supernova. They offer a better sense of the signs to watch for and how to interpret the complex behaviors of massive red giants. But when will Betelgeuse become a supernova? Researchers at Tohoku University suggest that Betelgeuse may be in the carbon-burning phase of its life, a stage stars typically go through before they die. Hoki Seo who leads this work, believes that the star's core might collapse a few tens of years after its carbon supply is exhausted. On the other hand, scientists at Hungary's Konkali Observatory think Betelgeuse is in an earlier helium-burning stage. While there are differing opinions, most agree that Betelgeuse will likely be the next supernova in the Milky Way. However, this event might not occur for another 100,000 years. In the past, observing supernovas has provided valuable insights into the death of stars. The first known record of a supernova was made in 185 CE, noted as a bright star that disappeared from the sky after eight months. Since then, many significant supernovas have been observed, including SN 1054, which created the Crab Nebula and was visible during the day for 23 days. The most recent supernova observed in the Milky Way was SN 1604 studied in detail by Johannes Kepler. More recently, supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud was observed just hours after its light reached Earth. It was the first supernova observed through neutrino radiation and across all electromagnetic spectrum bands. These observations have been crucial in developing accurate models of supernova behavior and understanding their role in star formation. Imagine if the night sky suddenly erupted in a brilliant display of cosmic fireworks and the bright explosion of a star caught our attention. What if the familiar constellation of Orion had a new bright star added to it? Betelgeuse, one of its brightest stars, had gone supernova. 
What kind of effects might this incredible event have on Earth? Betelgeuse is on the verge of a core collapse supernova, an explosion that occurs when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and can no longer support their own gravitational collapse. Core collapse supernovas are among the most powerful and destructive events in the universe. Betelgeuse's supernova will take only seconds, but will release as much energy as our sun will in its entire billions of years of life. Most of the energy released by a supernova is in the form of electromagnetic radiation, including X-rays, gamma rays, and visible light. A Betelgeuse supernova, however, would create a spectacular light show in the night sky that we could see immediately. For a brief period, the explosion would be brighter than the moon and visible even during the day. Imagine looking up at the sky during the day and seeing a second, much brighter sun appear for weeks or even months. Both astronomers and casual stargazers would be captivated by the event. But as fascinating as it would be to witness a Betelgeuse supernova, its real significance lies in the scientific questions it raises. Supernovas, especially those resulting from the explosions of massive stars like Betelgeuse, are like laboratories in space, offering us a wealth of information about the fundamental workings of the universe. One of the primary benefits of observing a Betelgeuse supernova would be the opportunity to closely study the final stages of a star's life. When massive stars like Betelgeuse explode, they release heavy elements like iron formed within the star into space. This process contributes the building blocks of planets, stars, and life itself to the universe. By examining the spectroscopic signatures and the dispersal of these elements after a supernova, scientists can gain valuable insights into stellar evolution, element fusion, and the formation of new celestial bodies. This information is critical for understanding the history and composition of the universe. While the visible light from a Betelgeuse supernova would be spectacular, the neutrinos released would be equally fascinating. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that are extremely difficult to detect because they rarely interact with matter. However, in the extreme environment of a supernova, vast quantities of them are produced. These elusive neutrinos provide a unique glimpse into the heart of a dying star offering insights into the core collapse process that help us understand the fundamental forces and particles at work during a supernova explosion. Detecting and studying these neutrinos would be a significant scientific breakthrough, potentially leading to new discoveries about the universe's most extreme conditions. The discovery of a Betelgeuse supernova could also reshape our understanding of the universe's expansion and the mysterious force known as dark energy. In the late 1990s, scientists studying distant supernovas discovered that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, contrary to previous expectations. Because Betelgeuse is relatively close to Earth, its supernova would provide an excellent opportunity to gather data on the universe's expansion rate and the role of dark energy in driving it. This could deepen our understanding of these fundamental concepts and possibly unveil new mysteries about the universe's structure and destiny. But what could happen on Earth if Betelgeuse were to explode? Is our planet in danger? Fortunately, given the vast distance between us, this is highly unlikely. One light year is approximately 588 trillion miles, which gives you a sense of the scale of our universe. At 725 light years away, Betelgeuse is more than 4,267 trillion miles from Earth. This enormous distance provides a level of cosmic shielding, making it extremely unlikely that the explosion would have any direct harmful effects on Earth.